in today's idea of the day, I'm going to address another really exciting subject, waste liquids. You can almost feel the excitement. When I was a little boy in elementary school, from kindergarten up, there was a certain ritual in the cafeteria. That is to say, you had your little milk container and you got your little sandwiches and some people didn't finish their milk. So we had a little ritual. When you got to the, to the front, you had your little tray with whatever leftover food you had You'd scrape out your food into the garbage and you had your little milk container sitting there on the tray and any liquids left in that, they had a big pail. It wasn't a big pail, maybe a one or two gallon pail, whatever it may be. And you, you were instructed to pour your milk into the pail, yeah, to pour your milk in the pail. And that's the way it was for six years from kindergarten up. We had to go to the thing, we had our little milk, and we poured out the leftover milk in the bucket and that was it. And then years later, I start going out into the real world. I'm a little older and I realize that that was a really great idea, but I don't see it anywhere else. I mean, if I go to, let's say, Wendy's or McDonald's or fast food of any type and I have myself something really big, you know, a large something. In my case, it would probably be an iced tea unsweetened. That's what I mainly drink. And for whatever reason, I say I want, oh, give me a regular size, and I'm assuming it's going to be like this, but it turns out it's like that, and it's way too much for me to drink. So I have now got an extra 20 ounces of liquid, and I always feel kind of weird that I got this 20 ounces of liquid in a, in a cup with a little plastic thing on it, that you would just take that cup and just drop it into the garbage. So there's my 20 ounces of liquid, and the next guy, he might have a kid that maybe only had a sip of his, his little juice box, well, whatever drink he had at the time, but the kids are throwing their practically full liquids into the garbage, which basically creates a liquid sludge inside the bag that when, you know, you get all those sugars, now it's blending in with all the other stuff. And in a hot summer day, if you happen to be in a neighborhood near a fast food place, it makes their garbage just reek as it is. I mean, it's bad enough, there's food waste, but now you got liquid just kind of squashing around. And that creates one more fun scenario where all those liquids, which are now in this garbage bag that now went into a dumpster and it's there and it's oozing all over the place. It goes and gets picked up by a garbage truck. And we've all seen this, that you get what is known as garbage truck juice, just oozing out of the back of the truck. And it makes this stinky trail down the street, depending on how many liquids they picked up during the course of whatever they're doing. It's gooey, it's smelly, and it's oozing out all over the street. Now the street smells. It makes me go back to when I was a little kindergarten boy from before I even got to the fifth grade where we had to pour our milk into a little bucket. And it makes me think, well, why aren't fast food places doing something about this? I mean, for what it's worth, they pay for their garbage by both volume and weight. And the liquids are heavy, but they're also, again, they make this smelly, gooey garbage truck goop where everything kind of just melt, it blends together. Your garbage, everyone's garbage, the liquids just kind of equalize and it just oozes out all over the darn place. Why don't they offer some sort of, not a bucket like we had, we had the two gallon bucket with our milk poured in it, but why don't they give you a place to pour out your leftover liquids and make it part of the ritual? This way the ice and everything goes in it, it melts down, it goes into a little drain and that will be it. So you got your liquid and they just have a little sign that says, please, please pour your liquids here. Believe me, people would know and understand what to do with it. So you got your garbage thing and you got a little, like a little uh, drain, you pour your liquids in. Now you just put the cup in cup is nice and dry and empty. You don't create the goop inside of the thing. You don't have the risk of the bags bursting out. And then you're the poor guy that works at McDonald's. You got to take out this bag, which has now got a hole and all the goopy liquids are goof, uh, uh, oozing out all over the place with their sugary drinks. And there they're going to get on your shoes. And it's a whole mess. For what it's worth, it's a very simple thing. If you have a restaurant, especially a fast food restaurant, you have a place for people to pour out their liquids, you're going to have a much cleaner environment for everyone involved. And that's today's idea of the day. All right, there it is. That's today's idea of the day. Some of them are pretty good, right? And some of them suck, I admit. 
first to admit some of my ideas suck but if you visit idea of the day every day and you subscribe to my channel by looking at the subscribe link in the corner you'll see a brand new idea every single day and i promise you some of them don't suck